We're going to do one song before Mass starts. It's number one if you have your program. It's called We Are Christian. The song is number two. Lord Jesus Christ, we come today to worship you with prayer. We pray with song and with the voice which God has made to bless us. We come to worship you today and cleanse our sins.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let us call to mind our shortcomings and failures, ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you came to call us sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again. Glory to judge the living and the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now we. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Now we shall pray together the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. How mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. How mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty of a living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. And the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong wind and heavy wi strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake there was a fire. 
but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is it his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits, our land shall yield its increase, justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people. My kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites. There's the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and proceed him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles ashore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water 
toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. The liturgy of today gives us the theme God comes to our rescue when we call upon him. When this COVID pandemic began to sweep the world one of the talking points in the social media was, where is God? As Christians, we believe in a God who is compassionate and who is merciful. Now when all this happening, where is our God? After creating the whole universe, is he just out there or does he care for the world? The liturgy of today gives us a beautiful answer to this question. Now, first reading, well, listen taken from the book of the Kings about prophet Elijah. Prophet Elijah is considered one of the greatest of the prophets of Israel. In the transfiguration scene, Elijah appears with Moses. You know, Moses gave the commandments to the people and another aspect of their faith is prophets. And we can say Elijah was one of the greatest of the prophets. So the background of today's passage is Elijah comes to the scene and he spoke against King Ahaz and Queen Jezebel because they went away from the one true God. You know, that's a story we see time and again with the people of Israel. They go, they go after other gods. And the story goes, Prophet Elijah challenges the priest of God Baal. And you know, when they, he defeats them, and the scriptures tells, you know, he kills all of the prophets. The queen did not take it lightly. She sent an army after Prophet Elijah. So he runs away and he goes to Mount Horeb. 
you know, Mount Horeb, also is known as Mount Zion. And that God appears to him. How does he experience his God? The scripture says there was an earthquake. God wasn't in it. And there was a mighty wind. Elijah experiences God in a gentle breeze. You now often we want God to do awesome things. Intervene in the history in a spectacular way. Of course, God has intervened in the history, you know, in very many times in a spectacular way. All we hear about Eucharist miracles. But Elijah experienced God in the whisper of the wind. At times in our lives too, when we go through difficulties, we may be looking for a spectacular experience of God, but God comes to us at, you know, sometimes in a very gentle way. Maybe through encouragement, uh, words of encouragement from a friend. Or maybe con phone call from a family member. Or into silence of our hearts. We could experience God in our difficult times. And we listen to the gospel passage where Peter and his companions experienced God. You know, Peter and his companions, they have seen the miracle that Jesus performed. He fed the multitude of 5,000. And they have listened to his words. But when they faced with the raging waves, they cried out for help. And there comes our God to their rescue. Our God is not the one who is somewhere out there. He's with us. He's among us. If we seek him, if we open our hearts and minds to listen to him, we can experience him in very many ways. In the ordinary things of lives, through our families, through our friends, and through our day-to-day -day lives. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, let's thank the good Lord and believe deep down in our hearts that he is with us even when we go through the most difficult times of our lives. Please rise. We shall pray together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess when baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us place our prayers and petitions before the Lord asking his blessings. and follow Christ through all who preach God's word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That church leaders may be gifted with strong faith and wisdom to guide the flock entrusted to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the young people of our parish, called to the priesthood and religious life, may say a generous yes to their vocation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are in need, the homeless, the sick, those with addictions or mental illness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all parishioners and loved ones who have died, that God will meet them face to face on their journey to eternal life, especially Irene Smitsik, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, you love us without end and give us hope. Grant that we may reflect your love to one another faithfully and joyfully. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in our offertory hymn number five. We offer bread and wine. We are. Children of the super race who make seeds of flame. 
for his sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good good of all his holy church be pleased O Lord to accept the offerings of your church for in your mercy you have given them to be offered and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ uh, our Lord the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we let them up to the Lord let's give thanks to the Lord our God it is right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord for through his paschal mystery he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race a royal priesthood a holy nation a people for your own possession to proclaim everywhere your mighty works for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light and so with angels and archangels with the thrones and dominions and with all the host and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without the end we acclaim indeed holy O Lord the fond of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come, until you come in glory. When we eat this bread. For us, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer a Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the service command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and uh, ever and the peace and joy of the Lord be with you always Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my room. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep me safe from the eternal. Prayer for Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. First communion song is number 12. I above. I above the clouds, the angels sing to God. Sing praise to God.
Second communion song is number 13. We come to you alone. We come to you. Meditation song is number 14, Only the Shadow. Oh. 
Let us pray. May the communion of your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirit who roam throughout the world seeking to ruin souls. Amen. Lord, be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Our closing hymn is number 15, Adio. Adio, the Mass now is ended. We go with God's peace in our hearts. Brothers and sisters together.